Good morning, This coming Yom Tov is a very unique one in that the Shvi'i Shel Pesach will be leading into Shabbat. Although Shvi'i Shel Pesach is on Friday, the uh, eighth day of Pesach is going to be on Shabbat. Now, interestingly, in Eretz Yisrael, there is no eighth day of Pesach, so this coming Shabbat will be a regular Shabbat, not Pesach at all. Because of that, in Eretz Yisrael, there are certain things, certain halachot that come up this year. Specifically, for instance, tomorrow, don't forget, you have to make an Ayruv Tavshilin today. So let's say a person made an Ayruv Tavshilin, and let's say either Ashkenazim who don't have kitniot throughout Pesach, or let's say some of the Sfaradim don't have kitniot, let's say Moroccans who don't eat rice, are you allowed to use, not in your Pesach kitnim, obviously, because they wouldn't do that, but let's say have different designated uh, pots for kitniot, and cook, let's say, rice tomorrow for Shabbat in Eretz Yisrael. In Eretz Yisrael, where? Shabbat is already going to be a regular Shabbat, not, nothing to do with Pesach. Would an Ashkenazi tomorrow allowed to be, tomorrow still Pesach, would he be allowed to cook rice in designated pots for the upcoming Shabbat or not? So it's a tremendous machloket. Um, the Ben Yishchayim in a Shuvan Rav Pe'alim, and the, based on the Halachot Ketanot, Maram Chagiz, says that it's Asur. Nevertheless, Maran Zechonam Bracha brings down many poskim to be matir, and it's not a problem of muktzeh, even though they're not eating the kitniot right now. However, since we live among the, the Ashkenazim, live um, among many Sfaradim, even if they cook it on Yom Tov, it's very possible that a Sfaradi will show up at their house and say, can I have some rice? So therefore, it is ra'ui, it's not considered uh, to be muktzeh, and therefore, la'alacha on ma'aseh, Maran Zechonam Bracha and Chazon Avadiyah Pesach, uh, and Yom Tov, he rules that it is mutar for Ashkenazim or even those Sfaradim who don't have uh, kitniot on Pesach to cook kitniot on Shvi'i Shel Pesach for Shabbat afterwards. Now, the same thing in Eretz Yisrael, what happens if a person is in Eretz Yisrael and for some reason he had chametz, let's say he sold uh, pitot in the freezer, right? He had sold chametz in the freezer. Can he take out from those pitot on this coming Shabbat in Eretz Yisrael to use for the Shabbat meals. Maran Zechon Bracha, also, this is another machloket with the Ben Yishchai, Maran Zechon Bracha allows it, he says it's not a problem of Muktzeh, he brings several re'ayot, and it's also not a problem, hey, you didn't buy back the chametz yet, he says that's not an issue either, because in the shtar of Mechidat Chametz, the Goy allows us to use his chametz whenever we need, we just have to make a cheshbon on Motzei Shabbat with him anyways, so that's, that's a different story. So for those who actually have pitot in their freezer over Shabbat, uh, over Shabbat, they can take it out and use it for the Shabbat meals. Obviously, once again, this is all with regards to Eretz Yisrael. Over here in Chutz La'aretz, this is completely irrelevant because Shabbat in Chutz La'aretz, outside of Eretz Yisrael, this coming Shabbat, is the eighth day. It's still considered 100% Pesach, so don't get any uh, bright ideas in Chutz La'aretz. Tizkun Shem Rabot, Chag Sameach, Bezat Hashem this evening, Mincha will be Mincha in Arvit at 7.20. Bezat Hashem, Chag Sameach, Tizkun Shem Rabot.